Mickey, it's unreal. Like, it's nice to be back in the gym. It's nice to follow these kids again. And, uh, oh, it's, and I think you guys talked about it. Like, it's just different. We were so, like, we had oh, TV and, crazy and everything. Like, and, like, there yeah. really is not a lot Nothing. of that going on. For... And Kojak and I talk about this all the time. Like, the talent's still around here. Yeah. Still here. And, you know, the newspaper does a great job. Yeah. It's just they can't be at every yeah. game. And, and neither can we, but we've got right. some things in the works to help to yeah. get the community involved and, you know. We're just we're wanting to help out, like no, you said. We're not. Man. We understand we're not going to pack the wigwam again. Yeah. You yes. know what I mean. Yeah. But oh, if we no. can, if we can, well, you're true. Oh, that's true. No, but yeah. if we can just pique a couple people's interest that wouldn't yeah. be coming before we our last game, we were undefeated and Yorktown was undefeated, and it was like it was a good. Out, it was good was out. it good? My daughter got her the thousand. We heard about that. Cool. So it yeah. was just like it was a really good atmosphere. Yeah, and that's what I don't really care about. I just want the kids to be able to like. Playing a good atmosphere, yeah. You know, well, yeah, like yeah, just like we did, yes, you know. Absolutely, so absolutely. Wow, that's something, man. So, where was that at? Was that here? Yep. Nice crowd. Oh yeah. Yeah. Your daughter's a junior, right? Thousand way, way point better, club. Way better score than I am. That's what I was going <laughs> to ask because when you said that, I'm like, okay, you were a true point guard. Oh, yep. You yeah. know, you were a true point guard. Um, your daughter, she's more of a is she a point guard, but she's a scorer? I actually think that nat she's naturally a point guard, but for what like our team needs, um, I mean, she's a she's oh, wow. a good okay. distributor, but we need her to score. Um, so, uh, I mean, she's a way better shooter than I ever was. I I didn't become a good shooter till like my junior year at Ball State. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so she's she's more naturally a scorer, um, but she's our She's kind of our shooting point, I would, yeah. I would call it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome, man. Yeah. Does she know who her dad is? I think so. I mean, she's grown up in a gym, um, whether me being athletic director or yeah. me coaching. I, I, when she was probably six or seven, I was an assistant at Ball State. So she, like, oh, really wow. started okay. getting into it then um, and just being in a gym and um, – she kind of came to basketball late. She was doing, I don't know if any of your kids ever did travel softball. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so we spent like four summers, you know, doing travel softball. She still kind of played basketball, but I was just mm -hmm. like, do what you want, you know, do what you want to do. And then once she got into like sixth grade, I started coaching this group that's juniors. And um, she just was like, I, I want to play basketball. And I'm like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. In my heart, I'm like, yes. yes. But you know, I was yes. just like, you do what you want to do. I'm fine with whatever. Let, She's like, I, I don't want to play softball anymore. Let me ask All you right. something, Mickey. What, um, with with you being a coach and your background, and when she finally said that she wanted to play, in your mind, are you thinking, okay, well. Does she really want to play, or does she really want to give it all it takes to become a really good player? And what, how did you recognize when she meant that? When she really was like, okay, I, I really want to focus in on. What, she has to want it, not yeah, dad. Yeah. So when did she grasp the, I want this? Well, I think I could see in her, I have seven kids, um, but I could see in her early, you know, early, <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I'm trying, I'm, be, I'm competitive. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, whether it was softball or, or whatever, she wanted to be a competitor. And um, I think you, all of us who have kids know, like our kids are different. And Absolutely. Different. Everyone. Yes. And, all my kids have played sports, but um, she was probably the first one out of – she was my fourth child that really was just, like, just really competitive. Uh -huh. And so, you know, once she decided, like, I want to focus on basketball, um, I didn't. I knew it wasn't going to have to be me, like, dragging her to the gym, um, you know, the three of us. Yes. That didn't have to happen. No. We wanted to be in the gym. And, you know, um, I actually got a full-court basketball court at my house. Um, so – I didn't have that to take helps. her to the gym anyway. Yeah, that's like right. go outside. Right. Yeah. Um, so uh, you know, I think it was probably like eighth grade. Um, okay. I took the varsity job her eighth grade year. Yep. The girls' job. My my oldest daughter was a senior. Um, we went like twenty two and three or something like that. Wow. It was like she felt like all right, this is cool. Yeah. You know, like I'm right. going to games. We're winning. We have a good yeah. team. Um, and that so, helps. Yeah. That makes you want to be a part of some, of a system or. A group yeah. like a family. I mean, yes. you end up becoming a family. Yeah. And she was a she was an eighth grader at that point. She would come to a lot of our practices and just you know 
jump in to, with our JV sometimes mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So um, playing against the older kids. Playing against the older kids. And we talk about that yeah, all the time, don't we, up, Coach? Yeah. 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 That's right. That's and see, that, that right here speaks to how important – uh, what you what you do on this level, on the varsity level, how it trickles down to the feeder system, mm -hmm. yeah. because your daughter's in the eighth grade, like man, I want to be yeah. a part of this. Yeah. And so, how has your success uh, at the varsity level? How has it affected the feeder yeah. system, the younger yeah. younger individuals? Do you have yeah. young ladies saying, "Man, I want to play in elementary, junior oh, high"? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, no, I think success breeds success, and um, you know we had some really good years these last couple of years um, and our junior high is doing well right now and I, I also think like just like like you guys it's like when you have a when you have a good player you know there's little mm -hmm. kids little boys little girls that are like oh, you know I want to I want to be I want to yes, be like sir. that yes sir yeah so um, I think that's that's good um, but I also think like you know we, we what we've tried to just preach to our younger kids is um, you know, Randy Zachary or Kojak Fuller, they didn't just happen. You know, Jack, right. Jacqueline didn't just happen. Like right. she's, she's been in the gym and when nobody's watching and, yeah. and so it's those, it's those times when nobody's watching and it's, it's that mm -hmm. hours and hours of trying to perfect the, perfect the craft, which yes. she's not there yet. But, um, you know, that's what we're trying to get, uh, to our younger girls. It's like, mm -hmm. it, it, it takes a lot to, to be good, and um, so I, I'm hoping that we're going to see that our seventh eighth grade get really good classes, and we're having some success. So that's fun. Hey, that's awesome, man. Yeah. That's awesome. So the supporting cast, mm -hmm. who goes along with Miss Holger? Who, <laughs> who do you have that's yeah. right there? Do you have uh, seniors that that you lost mm -hmm. that that's a senior this year, or uh, do you have some underclassmen that you're saying, man, listen? I'm looking for some big things out of this yeah. underclassmen. You guys, I love would, underclassmen. Yeah, no, no, it's all Listen, right. I guys, love yeah. underclassmen. <laughs> you guys would love our team because it's just a bunch of just like scrappy fighters. Oh, yes. And you know, we have our, my senior that plays all the time is named Peyton Foley. Um, we play like a one-three-one trapping zone mm -hmm. all the time, and she's at the top of it. She's she's mm. five-three. And she's just trying to. She's my height. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. She's just trying to rip everybody's head off at the top, and um, you know she doesn't have uh, probably the most basketball ability, but she's just like such a fighter, and um, so she's she's really the the senior. We have another senior, Morgan Baker, that doesn't play as much, but um, uh, Peyton and Morgan are two seniors, and then our junior class, which is Jacqueline, is class is really big. Um, Lily Harp is probably our second best player, and. Is, is an all-conference girl um, the last couple of years, and um, and again, she's just like a just a scrappy kid that uh, probably handles it. The you know is our next best ball handler, even though she's our five. Um, wow. uh, How sorry, big is she's she? Our four. She's okay, like, she's like five five eight. Um, and then uh, Riley Kelms is another junior. She's six foot. She's um, our closest thing that we have to a post. We really don't play at post um, as much. And then our fifth starter is another junior named Kylan McFall. Um, if you would probably remember her dad's Jay McFall. Mm -hmm. played, yeah, played, yeah, sure uh, do. Played at Highland after Randy. Um, he's got twin daughters that are both juniors that, that play for us. And um, I think when you get into coaching, both of you guys have been around basketball, like your team is going to, for the most part, imitate what you are. And mm -hmm. so, you know, I, I want to press and pick up people and, just yeah, you know, fight and call and try to steal it from everybody and and Mickey's always been that way. Yes, yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> so that's what that's what my team is, and I think it's a it's a fun way to play. Um, I tell the girls, I said, I'd I, I'd love to play for me. Right. I'm, I'm trying to steal it all the time and trap everywhere. And, yeah, that's good. But when when they're not in position, I'm like, you got I, why are we trapping? Because we're trying to steal it. So yeah. it's like go go try to steal it. Don't be hesitant. Um, now there's a reason behind what you do. Yes, you know, not yeah. just. Go out there and do this. Yes. I'm excited to see yeah. these lady tigers, yeah. man. Yeah. Just over what you're saying, coach. Yeah. I'm man, I'm ready to see y'all get out. Yeah. Well, we got a big game uh tomorrow night. Um Lapel, who went to the state mm -hmm. finals last year. We yeah. lost it. We lost to them by two points in the semifinals of the sectional last um, you know, last year. And um it's tough because we we play them in our regular season tomorrow night. We could play them in the county finals yeah. and we could play them in the sectional. Yeah. So it's like yeah. 
I can't lie to the girls and say it's not a big game, but it's a big game. But doesn't mean anything. Yes. But it's it's a it's a big game. They know it's a big game. Yeah. So we're excited to to get here today and talk about lapel and prepare for tomorrow night. Yeah, it's awesome. Man. Yeah, it's awesome, coach. So tell me your challenges, man. What are some of the challenges uh, that you see right now? That once we conquer these, man, I mm -hmm. listen. I really believe that. Not only can we win state, but we could probably repeat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, it's, I, I just feel like my in my four years, are, we talk about this all the time. Like we we've won a lot of games, but we haven't won the right game yet. Yeah. And so we, you know, we've got like second in our conference. Um, we feel like we've been, you know, we've gotten beat by Franklin and Lapel, who've made like runs to the state finals, yeah. and so we know we're really close. Um, so I think it's just really like just kind of getting over the hump. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I told my daughter, you know, because she just, you know, she just wants, I just want to win a sectional. I want to win. And I said, it's great, but there's a bunch of people out there that have, that have a, you know, great yeah. players that, that have never won a sectional. And so um, you got to want it, but you also got to do the small things and do the preparing and, and do the little work. And, and that that's at the end of the year. We got a, we got 20 some yes, games sir. to play mm -hmm. to, to get us prepared for that and ups and downs of the season. And so. I think for us, probably the biggest challenge is just, you know, doing the day to day things. And it sounds cliche, but like all those things are still in front of us, whether it's the county or the sectional. You know, we got to get through today and we got to get in here and do the work that's going to put us in a position when we get to the end of the year to hopefully play for a championship. Um, and so you can't look ahead as much as you want to, um, <laughs> but we, we got to come in and do the work every day. It sounds like these ladies have bought it to your system. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. How you like to play, what you expect out of them. No issue there. Everybody's bought in. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I'm honest with them. I'm like, we can't right. shoot. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we, probably our biggest struggle is that um, we just we have a hard time. I think a lot of teams do is just we don't have a bunch of kids that can make a lot of shots. And so, yeah. you know, we've just – we say it all the time. We need to steal it. We need to right. steal it from mm -hmm. them. We need to go get layups and – um, create things. Yeah, we got to create yes. our offense yeah. by our defense. If we, when we do make shots, we're really, really good. Uh -huh. We, we <laughs> yes. easily blow people out, but there's just nights where it's just uh -huh. not going to happen, and there's nights where people are going to, you know, try to take Jacqueline away, and we uh -huh. got to have other people step up and make some shots. And when that doesn't happen, it's uh -huh. kind of a struggle for us. Mickey, I have um, to ask about Jacqueline a minute. As good as she is now, um, you got you're going to start seeing some specialty defenses against yeah. her. Have you guys seen any of those yet? And if so, or if not, how are you going to prepare her for seeing some of those boxing ones, yeah. triangle and twos? And <laughs> that's what I told. I was at the all conference meeting last year. I said, if anybody needs a boxing one play, I got twelve of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's. I think it just comes with the territory. Um, yeah. You know. Yeah. We've, we've seen it. We've seen yeah. it. Chaser and. Yeah. You know, last year we played a game where there were. A triangle and two, and they put two people two on, on, on her. Yeah, I mean like, that's. I, I think you know. I told her. I said, when that happens, you gotta you gotta get get it to your teammates, and yeah. you gotta make shots, and you gotta trust your teammates, and yeah. and that's gonna make us better mm -hmm. in the end. And you know, um, and and I guess another side part to that would be one of the reasons we play the way that we play mm -hmm. is so people can't can't fall back. Yes, absolutely, yes. we're yeah. trying to get into a scramble, so. Play your type of game and take, yeah, game make and them actually, play your game yep. instead of falling yeah, into I their think game. That's going to allow her. I think sometimes when you're in a press and you're trying to steal or we're in a trapping defense, it's harder to find maybe another team's best player uh -huh. coming out of that. And so I've tried to you know, help her out a little bit. Uh -huh. um, but if there's a turnover or a jump ball or something, you know, we yeah. still have to have something for when, a, when there's a set defense like that. So, real quick, Jacqueline just broke the thousand or just joined the thousand mm -hmm. point club. As a father, mm -hmm. how awesome is that? And then, not only that, as a coach, yeah. you know, tell us a little bit about that, Mickey. Yeah, it's it really, it's funny that you asked that, Zach, because it's like something that I've, I've struggled with a little bit. It's like trying to enjoy, um, I've coached for 20 years, and, yeah. and really she's probably the best player that I've coached. Okay. So, like, trying to um, enjoy it as a coach, yeah. you know, yeah. going to, like, a top 100 or, you know, uh -huh. going to some of these things that she's getting to go to. You know, I told my wife, like, I have to try to, like, enjoy, like, this, this yeah. is a good player that I have. I know yes. it's my daughter, but yes. I'm also am fortunate to be able to coach her. Um, and, you know, then as a dad, it's like, yeah, it's cool. Like, it for is. me, as having a bunch of kids, I just want, I just always want my kids to play. 
Yeah. You know, if they're great, that's fine. But right. I, I really just want them to play and, and be coached by somebody and get on a bus and, and yeah. do those things that we've all got to do. Experience all that. Experience yeah. it. and Because um, I do think, again, we've talked about it all the time, but like, this stuff is life stuff. Like yes. being have, having to be yeah. coached by somebody yeah. or having to be you know told what yeah. to do and, and be yeah. a coachable person. That's what that's what you got to do when you go to a job. Yeah, Kojak and I talk about this all the time. It's it's really not. I mean, it is about basketball. What yeah. we do is all about basketball. We but really, win. we want to yeah. win. Yeah. But all that is really just preparation for life after basketball. Right. And we right. talked about how you know whether you play two years or eight years or whatever yeah. it is, it's limited. It goes oh, yeah. by so fast, you know. So. It's not just basketball. It's about preparation for life afterwards. So yeah, I love yeah. to hear that comment. Yeah, it's awesome. And I, I was just sitting by uh, Damon Turner. I don't know if you guys know yeah. Damon. Yeah, Damon sure Turner's did. mother. I was scouting the other night and talking to her about DT Willie Turner. Yeah, just playing. And I know <laughs> Coach. You guys, oh yeah, yeah. It's like do some push ups. Like, that's that's 30, 40 years ago, and yeah. it's still you know yeah. ingrained in my mind. You know. The team's playing, but I'm over here doing push-ups. Like, <laughs> like, you must have missed the layup. Yeah, oh, my gosh. But, like, that stuff, it's like you could care less about the basketball. He's like, yeah, we're going to yeah. do things the yeah. right way. And, yeah. So, yeah, that's you know, what Coach Robston brought up, you know, uh, DT. Yeah, he did. He brought him up, man. So, his philosophy has, you know, 30, 40 years, man. Yes. It's still sticking yeah. with individuals. Yep. Why? Because it was about life. Yeah. Man, it was about life to where, it, listen, when you mess up, mm -hmm. then, you know, you got to deal with the consequences. Yeah. You know, you're held, you know how to bounce. You're back. held responsible. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. You deal with this is your responsibility and you deal with it. And now you need to bounce back. So yeah. you're in a position to where your your actions have created a five on four. Right. Yeah. To where right. you put your team, yeah. made, you know, at team at a disadvantage. Yeah. Now, how do I deal with yeah. putting my team at a disadvantage? Do I come back in with that, oh, I'm mad? Or yep. do I say, man, let me get back in here, yeah. bust my butt, and really help my yeah. team out because I let them down? You know, so that's a life I don't lesson. know. I was just scared to death. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why is my dad making me play for this guy? I was so scared. <laughs> And I was like the worst back then. I was like the worst kid on the team. Barely made but, it. But the crazy thing is, Mickey, all those experiences probably made you who you were, oh, you know, absolutely. down the road, yeah. and it made you a tough yeah. individual yeah. down yeah. the road, on the court, off the court. I mean, yeah. and my dad. I mean, I, I give him credit. He was trying to prepare me to go play against players like you, and go play yeah. against Anderson, yeah. and play against Highland, and, and that. And yeah. I. I didn't know what the heck he was doing. I guess I just tr <laughs> trusted him. And, and for those of you that don't know out there, uh, Mickey and I played together at Ball State one year. We, he was a freshman my senior year, and we were roommates on the road. That's right. That's so right. I got to carry Randy's bag and play like three minutes a game. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> got, so to, got to start. I got to start one time. You know why? Yes, yeah. I do know why, because that was the day that uh, Bonzi and I were disciplined. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, that's so funny. Yeah, but you're gay. And, and if I'm not mistaken, that was against Akron it against Chris. Chris. Yeah, yeah, isn't that funny? Chris. He got to start against Chris. Yeah. Chris and Han that he played with really? in high yeah. school. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh wow. That's that was great. Awesome. And your gang. You, I mean, you played a lot like Zach. Yes. You know, probably. A, I mean, Zach was more. I would say more of a scoring Score, point. Yeah. Yeah. I was definitely more of a. A true point guard. Um, Don't sell yourself short, Mickey. You were a scorer as well. I oh, just, yeah. you know, Garth wanted you to get it into Chris, but I'm going to yeah. tell you what, you could hit that jumper too and did and scored. Had many nights where you were up there in points. Yeah. So yeah. get to the bucket. Yeah, you was. I was basically trying to say he was a ball hog. I was a true point Come guard. Come on. That's, what I was to say. <laughs> That's not true. We were just both competitors and wanted to win. Right. <laughs> That's what it comes down right. to. Right. So right. one thing, Mickey, um, I know you're, uh, you know, you're following. A legend in, in this organization. Yeah. I mean, Garth Cohn. You played for Garth yeah. Cohn for all yeah. those years, and even the people that we talk to now, he still has an effect around this community. And even the players that played against him. Yeah. I mean, he affected my life. He affected mm -hmm. Kojak's life. Um, and I know you're not the boys' coach now, but what's it like to come into an organization to take over your alma mater? Mm -hmm. You know, not only did you play for this great school. But now you're kind of in charge of it, athletic yeah. director and girls coach. And you got a great coach in, in Coach Carroll. Yeah. You know, what's it like to kind of carry the baton after Coach Cone? Yeah, I mean, and, and the other, I guess another one is John, John Howell, who was a yes. girls coach. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Maybe, maybe I should have mentioned that. him. Yeah, so, um, yeah, it means a lot to me. Um, you know, I've grown up here and I've yeah. pretty much lived here my entire life. And, um, 
you know, I want our I want our town to be great. I want yes, our school to be at, great. Yes. So, you know, just like you guys, you guys have pride from what, from where you come from, and so um, obviously playing for somebody like Garth, um, yeah. you know, it, it was cool. And yeah. you know, we, all, the three of us all played for like legendary, you know, Hall of Fame yes. coaches. Yes, we um, did. Yeah, not everybody can say that, no. but um, just like you talked about earlier, Garth was. He, he just had so, so many things that were just like more than basketball. Yes, and just, he did. You know, it was like a father figure. He was really good friends with my family and I mm-hmm. went to my church. And so, um, yeah, it, it means a lot. And, uh, you know, there's also like a responsibility that I feel mm-hmm. yeah. you know, to, to try to do it a certain way and um, to, to make it a certain way for my team and mm-hmm. um, our athletic department. And, and so, obviously, it means a lot. Yeah, it yeah. does. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, Coach, you know, I'm looking over there, man, and I, I, I see these ladies are warming up without you having to say yeah. anything. They're scared. Not, <laughs> it, should we make a noise? Or what do you have? Is that what it is? I'm okay, excited scared. because I'm like. They're working yeah, out without the coach. Yeah. Yeah. Coach, don't have yeah, to tell us. They're a bunch of businesses. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, they're such a fun group. There's like, when you coach, you know, I'm, we're all getting old, but I've coached like 20 years, and like there's groups where you just like, you get done every night, and you're like, "Man, I don't want to be around. I don't want to be around this group because they're for whatever reason." And then there's groups you're just like, they're just fun. And you so can't get like, enough no, of them. Oh yeah, they're just like, yeah. they're a fun group. Obviously, um, <laughs> there's going to be ups and downs and stuff, but yeah. um, they're they're a lot of fun, and we're having success, which helps too. But it's just like That's they come awesome, in here bro. every day. They know what the expectation is, and yep. if they don't meet that, then you know there's going to be issues. But um, they're, love yeah, they're ready to go, and um, they understand what we're trying to do and where we're trying to go, and so hopefully we can get there. That's awesome, yeah, Coach. Hey, awesome. I, I got to say this real quick, though, so Jack. In practice every day at Ball State, Mickey was so hard-nosed, like he made me a tougher player oh, in my senior oh, year. Man. Like he really oh, did. Man. So I appreciate that, Mick. Yeah, I know like, we never really had that adult yeah. conversation. Back in the day, I was always trying to get you in trouble and stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Abusing me. Abusing me in practice and away from practice. Yeah. That's not always – that whole thing's not true, but some of it is. I believe like, it. So, yeah. Listen, Coach, I don't have no more questions. It's good. Man. It's um, good. You guys are going to stick around for a little bit? Absolutely. Get a little footage if you don't mind, and then we'll get out of your way. Yeah. Awesome, man. Thanks, Mickey yeah. Hosier. Thank you for joining us, man. Hey, thanks. Go up, man. Go up, man.